Hi, have a great day. Welcome to Small Trouble YouTube channel. So once again, a tutorial tayo kasi merong mga request. All right, so welcome to the nature of biology. So we're in quarter two now. So here you are going to learn the diversity of life. So do you know that living things of unique classes, big or small, consist of cells? Yes, some organisms are single celled while others are made up of billions of cells like our body or have trillions like the elephants. So basically most cells are so small that they cannot be seen by our naked eye. But how can we examine these cells? I mean cells. So we are grateful and lucky enough that our scientists and inventors in their times built this microscope and that's what our topic is all about for today. So basically microscope is a special equipment or tool to make small objects look bigger, okay? Small objects like cells. So in this module, you will learn the brief history and types of microscope. You will also study the parts of the microscope and how does each part function. So, knowing this lesson is very essential because in the future, you will going to view different internal structures of living things under the microscope. So, let's now, without much further ado, let's uh, start by answering the what I know portion. Alright, so here in the what I know portion, number one, what tool is used to help you see tiny objects and living organisms? So, the answer is, alright, of course, it's a microscope, letter D. Okay, number two, who invented the first compound microscope? All right, it's letter D, Hans and Zacharias Janssen. And all right, let's proceed to number three. All right, so which two parts of the light microscope magnify the image of an object? So the answer is... What do you think? It's letter, of course, letter B. Number four. What part moves the body tube and objectives up and down? So, the answer is, of course, this part, letter A. Okay, so this part is this one, which is the course adjustment now. Number five, which part makes possible the changing of the objectives? Okay, it's letter, letter C. It's part L. We call that one the revolving nose piece. Alright. Number six, which part will you adjust if the onion cell you are observing under high power objective is not clear? So, the answer is letter, okay, letter A. So, for letter A, it's part B. Part B is what we call the fine adjustment knob. Okay, this is the fine adjustment knob. Number seven. What makes a microscope determine how clearly a small object can be viewed? It's letter C, magnification and resolution. Number eight. What is the science of investigating small objects and structures? So the answer is letter D, microscopy. Number nine, what type of microscope uses visible light to form an image? It's optical microscope. Number ten, what is accomplished by turning the course adjustment upwards or downwards? The answer is letter A, it's facilitates the changing of objectives and focuses or brings out the object to be observed. Number 11, why do you have to watch from the side when changing objectives? All right, so the answer is 1, 2, and 4 only. So, this one. All right, number 12. The magnification of a microscope is equal to 
Alright, it's the product of magnification produced individually by the ocular and objective lenses. So basically, multiply nyo lang. Number 13. A plant cell is viewed using a 10 times eye feeds and 43 times high power objective. So how much will the cell be magnified? So this is the application part of this number 12. So all you have to do is to multiply the 10 times times 43 times. So 10 times 43, that's 430 and just copy the common variable x. So that's 430 times. Number 14, how does a mirror help in studying the specimen in a microscope? So it slather it reflects light. 15, why is it necessary for the specimen to be observed under the microscope must be thin? So the answer is letter C, so that light could pass through the specimen. Alright, so now let's proceed to the what's in portion. Okay, so in your previous year level, so basically grade 6 nyo pa lang kayo noon, you learned that the basic unit of structure and function of a living thing is the cell. So living things may have trillions of cells and are called multicellular or may contain one cell and are called unicellular organisms. So here, we are going to name the tools that we use to make things appear bigger. Then how they are, are used and yes, we are going to answer it here. So basically, mag, mag, may name tayo ng apat. So we can have magnifying glass. It can make things bigger. Okay, magnifying glass. So ang uses ni magnifying glass is basically uh, to or used to produce. Basically, magproduce siya ng magnified image. Magnified image of an object all right the next tool is we can ha also have telescope all right telescope we know the telescope is used to look through distant objects to look closer and larger okay Okay, used to look through distant objects. Okay, kayo na lang ang mag, ano, mag add ng to look closer and larger. Then we also have the binoculars. Okay, binoculars. So I have this at home binoculars um, basically same lang siya ng function sa telescope but it has um, two parts okay equipment with two parts that holds against your eyes and yes it can still use to look through distant objects And the last but not the least, we have the periscope. Periscope is used for looking over the top of something, especially for looking at the surface of the sea from a submarine. So, for looking over the top of something. Alright, so that's all for what's in. Now let's proceed to here. What's new? Alright, so for the what's new portion, dito na tayo sa what's new. Okay. Here, all you have to do is you read the paragraph, and after that, you just have to summarize here. So after that, 13th century, because, uh, 
it was already answered there. So we have 1590. For 1590, yes, it's the father, son, do Zacharias, and Hans Janssen created the first microscope. Okay. Then for the, niko na lang siguro, or let me copy this. Okay, ito. Ito yung answer, 1590. Okay, ito yung isulat niyo. Let me highlight it. A father, son, do, created the first microscope. Ito yung answer sa 1590. And pagkatapos ni 1590, we have the 1625. Okay, then for the 1625, Galileo Galilei perfects the principle of microscope here. And after that 1665, we're going to have, ano, 1625, it's 1665 now. Alright, for the 1665, it's here. Okay, you're going to write this in the blank. An English physicist, Robert took look at the silver of fourth lens and some pores or cell in it. So basically, Robert Hooke coined the term cell. Okay. It's Robert who coined the term, term cell. Okay, we may... Okay, Robert Cook. Ah, I'm sorry. Okay, it's Robert who coined the term cell. And after that, 1665, we'll have 1674. Okay, we're going to write the 1674 here. And, and ang isusulat ninyo dito sa blank is, of course, ito. Okay, i-highlight lang natin itong part na to. That's for 1674. After 1674, we have 1932. So, nakabasi lahat to sa, ano, sa paragraph natin. Ah, meron pa pala. Meron pa tayong 1925. Okay, 1925. And, ang isusulat nyo dito is ito lang. I-highlight natin. Ito, that's for 1925. And for pagkatapos niyan, okay, we have itong 1932. And pagkatapos ni 1932 is mag-add lang tayo ng column for 19th century. So, 1932 ito. Kasi, for 19th century, yeah, 1932, hindi naman na-mention dito, ano? So, pwede lang yan until 1932 tayo. Kasi, in the 19th century, Charles Spencer began producing fine optical microscope. Pero, wala naman, hindi tayo, na, hindi nakita ang pangalan niya. So, until 1932 lang tayo. Okay? So, that's it for what's new. Now, let's proceed to what is it. So, this is our discussion proper. Pero, baka maano tayo. Ma Ubusan tayo ng uras. So, sa part 2 na lang natin ipagpatuloy itong what is it sa microscope na topic. Okay? So, thank you so much for watching our lesson for today. And I hope you learned something. Bye-bye!